well-known tourist spot is rapidly disappearing. Our most ecologically fragile areas have never been more vulnerable, and the recent Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report affirms what we've known for a long time. If we want to enjoy our world a little longer, we need to actively change our consumption habits. Some of the world's most endangered natural wonders are listed here, including a popular lake in the American Southwest that appears to be drying up. Powell Lake Utah Lake Powell, a man-made freshwater reservoir second only to nearby Lake Mead in size, may not be as natural as the other sites on our list, but it is nevertheless endangered. Lake Powell is a popular destination for visitors looking for a desert respite, but climate change is posing a threat to this hugely popular spot. The Southwest is suffering from a multi-decade mega drought, the worst in over 1,200 years. Lake Powell is presently only 26% full, exposing the lake bed, preventing boaters from accessing the water, and creating a bathtub-like ring surrounding the famed rock formations. Dot. Bay Maya Thailand The movie, The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, made this beautiful cove famous around the world. The inflow of thousands of people from all over the world caused such damage, particularly to the area's fragile coral, that the Thai government was obliged to close Maya Bay for three years to work on a restoration project. The bay is finally accessible to the public, but there are a few additional conditions in place to help protect the fragile ecosystem. No swimming, a maximum of 300 tourists per hour, and no boat access in the bay. The Everglades Florida this national treasure is worth traveling to the south for, but you'll have to hurry because it's swiftly disappearing. Despite a 30-year restoration effort that began in 2000, the River of Grass is still not out of the woods. It's roughly the size of New Jersey, but its 1.5 million acre size is half of what it once was. This birder's paradise is also home to the manatee, elusive Florida panther, an American crocodile, as well as nine diverse climates, sawgrass, mangroves, pine savannas, and, most recently, the pine rockland trapdoor spider, a rare sighting since it was last seen in the 1920s. Barrier Reef Belize It's no surprise that the world's second largest coral reef is a natural beauty under jeopardy. It has already seen a significant bleaching catastrophe in 1998, with the loss of 50% of its coral in various locations and the disappearance of its characteristic staghorn coral. The good news is that Belize has made headway in its environmental conservation efforts, and on Earth Day, April 22, last year, they pledged to stop using non-recyclable plastics like straws, cutlery, and bags. Offshore oil drilling has also been halted by the government in an effort to protect the reef's ecosystems. More than 1,000 different species of marine life are endangered, but the future looks bright if recent developments continue. Glacier National Park Montana Because of warmer summer weather and fluctuations in snowfall, Glacier National Park's rough wilderness may be glacier-free by 2030. While it is not surprising that the number of active glaciers has decreased with time, there were 150 glaciers in the park in 1900 and only 25 presently. The United States of America will hold a presidential election in November 2019. According to a Natural Resources Defense Council article, the Fish and Wildlife Service added the Western Glacier Stonefly, Zapata Glacier, and the Meltwater Linnean Stonefly, Linnea Tumana, to the endangered species list. Doñana National Park Spain Few people realize that Spain is home to Europe's greatest wetland. Millions of migrating birds stop at Doñana National Park in Huelva, southern Spain, on their way between Europe and Africa. It's home to a variety of ecosystems, including wetlands, rolling dunes, 
and 19 kilometers of unspoiled white beaches, as well as endangered species like the Iberian lynx and the Spanish imperial eagle. The Spanish government announced a prohibition on dredging of the Guadalquivir River's biodiversity-rich wetlands in 2016, following a global campaign by the World Wildlife Fund, removing, for the time being, the biggest imminent threat to Doana National Park. The Ruanzori Mountains Uganda Another victim of climate change is this mountain range in eastern equatorial Africa, which runs between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Ruanzori Mountains are one of only three areas in Africa where permanent glaciers may be found. However, a 2020 expedition led by conservationist Klaus Thiemann proved that Mount Baker and Mount Speak no longer contain glaciers, says Mark Christensen of Brilliant Africa. Penguins in Antarctica The snowy splendor of Antarctica is a sight to behold, but it may soon look and feel very different. Since the mid-1990s, Antarctic ice shelves have lost about 4 trillion metric tons of ice, and the situation isn't improving. As a result, wildlife has suffered greatly as well. According to new research published in the journal Global Change Biology, 98% of emperor penguin colonies may be pushed to extinction by 2100. Because their life cycle is dependent on stable sea ice, the loss of sea ice might put 70% of the population in jeopardy by 2050. The Maldives Maldives The Maldives are expected to vanish in the next 20 to 50 years, according to scientists. The collection of 200 small islands and atolls in the midst of the Indian Ocean is known for its white sand beaches, beautiful coral reefs, and celebrity customers, but it also boasts the lowest terrain of any country on the planet, standing less than one meter above sea level. According to NASA, some lower-lying islands could become uninhabitable by 2050 as the global sea level rises 3 to 4 millimeters every year, threatening endangered species like the leopard shark and the huge Napoleon wrasse fish. Tuvalu South Pacific Tuvalu is a small country located halfway between Australia and Hawaii. With barely 1,000 people visiting its brilliant azure seas each year, this pristine paradise with gorgeous lagoons and coral reefs attracts only the most intrepid of travelers. Climate change and increasing sea levels, the highest point is only a few meters above sea level, are gradually but steadily posing a threat to the island's residents. Tuvalu's nine islands are already on the verge of sinking, and scientists estimate the country could be untenable in less than 50 years. Tuvalu's inhabitants could become the world's first documented climate change refugees if this happens. The Franz Josef and Fox glaciers are two of the most famous glaciers in the world. New Zealand is a country in the Pacific Ocean. Today I'm here, but tomorrow I can be gone. The mass of New Zealand's sea glaciers is changing year to year and has been declining for the past two decades. The Franz Josef Glacier, according to The Guardian, has been retreating rapidly and has lost a mass of 1.56 kilometers in length, at the fastest rate ever recorded. The Fox Glacier, Meanwhile, is facing the same fate, its access road has been closed since 2019 due to repeated flooding and a massive landslide, and it is now only accessible by helicopter. Dover's White Cliffs United Kingdom The famed White Cliffs of Dover aren't simply a beautiful sight to see, they also symbolize where home begins and ends for the English. The cliffs, which are made of white chalk formed from the shells of a rare species of algae, have always been vulnerable, but according to a 2016 report, bad weather, storm waves, reduced sediment supply, and beach erosion have resulted in them eroding 10 times faster in the last 150 years than they did in the previous 7,000 years. Do you need further proof that it's vanishing? This viral video from February 2021 showed a chunk of it tumbling into the water. 
The Dead Sea Israel It's advisable to get moving if you've got your heart set on taking that perfectly buoyant photo in the Dead Sea. For the time being, the dense, mineral-rich waters are still present, although they are dwindling due to excessive mineral mining, Dead Sea mud mask anyone, and water scarcity difficulties. According to a new assessment, the water level is lowering at a rate of around 1 meter per year, while the land is sinking at a rate of roughly 15 centimeters per year. This has resulted in numerous sinkholes, the closure of some resorts, and experts predict that it will be gone by 2050. While the Red Dead Canal is being offered as a strategy for channeling water from the Red Sea, this relocation could cause seismic activity. Wedding Cakes Rock Australia Sorry, TikTok influencers, but you won't be allowed to record yourself doing handstands on the edge of Wedding Cake Rock any longer. The rock's unusual pale hue is caused by iron leaching and has been fenced off in recent years to prevent anyone standing on or along the cliff edges. It is located an hour from Bundina in New South Wales. Its sandstone layers have been deemed dangerously soft, and vertical fractures indicate that they are at risk of collapsing. While you can only see it from afar, the Royal National Park's coastal walk is nevertheless scenic, with other spectacular rock formations and the occasional whale sighting. Mount Fuji Japan Mount Fuji is unquestionably the most important sight to see in Japan. This view of the white-capped mountain, though, may not last much longer. Unfortunately, over the last 8 to 10 years, Fuji's snowfall has decreased. According to Joel Spires of Prep4 Travel, the iconic snow-covered volcano will soon be a regular-looking volcano with no snow-capped peak. According to NASA, data from the Terra Satellite's Normalized Difference Snow Index NDSI, show that the snow cover on Mount Fuji in December 2020 was among the lowest in the Satellite's 20-year record, and its iconic snow cap was substantially smaller, if not gone. Lanikai Beach Hawaii This well-known stretch of beach on Oahu's windward coast has received numerous honors. Many times named the best beach in the world, it's an honor that may soon fade from memory. Man-made seawalls and sandbag walls are contributing considerably to Oahu's overall coastal erosion, according to a ProPublica investigation, with the south half of the beach no longer walkable and much of the remaining shoreline eroded. Overall, scientists estimate that Oahu has lost nearly a quarter of its beaches to shoreline hardening, a rate that might climb to 40% by 2050, according to scientists. The Congo Basin Africa climate change isn't the only threat to the Congo Basin's green wealth. The world's second largest rainforest is also facing the consequences of rising timber demand, which has resulted in intensive logging in Gabon and Cameroon's forests. Because of this, as well as ongoing issues like illegal oil drilling and deforestation, the forest and its unique plants, it contains over 10,000 tropical plant species, and wildlife bonobos, mountain gorillas, and forest elephants, could be lost by 2040 unless drastic measures are taken now to protect it. The Congo Basin's loss has a global impact on carbon absorption since its trees absorb 1.2 billion metric tons of Colorado II. The rainforest of Atsinanana Madagascar This World Heritage Site in eastern Madagascar is consistently at the top of many travelers' must-see lists. And it's no surprise that the six national parks that run the length of eastern Madagascar, covering nearly 1,000 miles, are home to many rare species, including 25 different lemur species, 50 different reptile species, and 100 endemic freshwater fish species. Mangroves of the Sundarbans India and Bangladesh are two countries that share a border. This cluster of low-lying islands in the Bay of Bengal stretches 3,800 square miles across India and Bangladesh and is known for its unique mangrove forest. It is home to Bengal tigers, saltwater crocodiles, 
Chital deer, and Ganges River dolphins, and is one of the world's largest. Sadly, continuous pollution, deforestation, and overfishing are eroding the country's beaches and destroying its mangroves. According to UNESCO, a 45 cm rise in sea level will result in the loss of 75% of the Sundarbans mangroves, as well as the countless animal, plant, and human beings that rely on them. Great Mount Kilimanjaro Tanzania This iconic summit may be a mountaineer's ultimate fantasy challenge, but its ice cap has steadily melted due to rising temperatures, rendering it impossible to scale. Due to the substantial shrinkage of Mount Kilimanjaro's glaciers, world-famous ice climber Will Gad opted not to undertake a planned ascent in 2020. He ended up filming a 45-minute adventure documentary instead. Amazon Rainforest's Brazil images of the Amazon rainforest on fire in 2019, which scorched around 3,800 square miles of vegetation, stunned the world. Unfortunately, it burnt again in 2020, this time with more severe flames, according to an examination of satellite data from NASA's Amazon dashboard. Despite decades of conservation efforts, the world's largest tropical rainforest, which spans Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, and Venezuela, is expected to vanish in 50 years due to unrelenting demands for cattle, soybeans, and timber. Yangtze River A river sail along Asia's largest river may be the greatest way to see the country. The world's third longest river, 3,915 miles, is also one of the most fertile, supporting half of all wild animal and plant species in China. Sadly, the area's densely inhabited area and heavily industrialized towns are creating irreversible flooding and habitat damage, contaminating its rivers and endangering the water supply of millions. Arctic polar bears If your only experience with a polar bear has been through plexiglass at a zoo, this may become a permanent reality. Climate change is threatening the delicate ecosystem of the Arctic, just as it is in the Antarctic, and the polar bear is one of the new victims of melting ice. Himalayan glaciers India There's no denying it. Global warming has caused the melting of Himalayan glaciers to quadruple since the turn of the century. The retreating glaciers in the Himalayas are not only dangerously filling up glacial lakes, but they are also producing other threats that are not being monitored, according to a BBC article. National Park of Joshua Tree California What would Joshua Tree National Park be like if it didn't have its unique Joshua Trees? This historic tree, which has graced the Mojave Desert for 2.5 million years, may be on its way out if climate change continues. The California Fish and Game Commission unanimously approved temporary endangered species protection for western Joshua trees on September 22, 2020, making it illegal to chop down, injure, or remove a Joshua tree without a permit or special approval for a year or so. Volcano Tall The Philippines are a country in Southeast Asia. Despite being one of the world's smallest volcanoes at 1,020 feet, Tall Volcano has erupted 34 times in the last 450 years, the most recent being in January 2020. While the Philippines' second most active volcano remains closed to tourism due to high levels of sulfur dioxide, also known as VOG, the Philippines' second most active volcano has always been a popular tourist destination due to its picturesque setting in the middle of Tall Lake and proximity to Manila and the beaches of Batangas, it's likely to remain closed for a while. 